Hey guys, welcome to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to go over my top five live scope settings that I use on a daily basis. Um, I ain't telling you that's good for everybody. I'm just saying it's good for me. And uh, if you haven't, uh, or if you haven't used live scope and you're just getting one, you just picked it up, or if you're contemplating buying one. Um, these five that I'm going to show you might kind of help you get started in the direction that you want to go. You know, to help, it, it'll catch you fish, no doubt. I mean, you can look at my other videos uh, if you haven't already. And there's a lot of fish caught with the way that I use mine. Um, like I say, I'm not saying it's for everybody, but it's for me. And it's uh, what works well for me. So um, let's get to it. Okay. So one of the first things that comes up <clears throat> when you turn it on... Uh, I'm not sure if you can see with all this glare as bad as we have, but um, you have a grid that's set up over the screen like that right there, uh, and it tells you, you know, five foot increments uh, across the top, and it looks like, I don't know how many, two foot increments on the side here. I don't like that. I don't want that on my screen. So, first thing you do is you go to menu. When you pull up menu, it's going to show you the gain, the depth, the forward range, uh, transmit, sonar setup, and edit overlays. Well, when you first get it, you might think that edit overlays is where it's going to be because the screen is over the edit overlays. Well, turns out it ain't. So, you take this one on this one. This is a 1022. Take the knob. Uh-oh. Go down here to sonar setup. Push the knob. It goes right there to appearance and push appearance now you see a grid overlay on show you're gonna go down to that right there push hide now you can push back to get out now that's the way I like for my screen to be I don't have all that um, clutter of the grid and stuff inside there some folks may like it I don't so that's the way I use it, like that. I don't like the grid. That's tip or tip number one, setting number one, I guess is what you would say. Okay, next thing that I'm gonna do. When I'm out in, um, let's see. First of all, let's go to the color. Uh, some folks like different colors. You know, people's eyes see different things. Uh, you go to the menu, you go back down to sonar setup, and you can go to appearance. And you can go to your uh, color scheme. If you see I've got mine on amber. You know, you can go to copper. You can go to black emerald, midnight blue. You know, green. I guess that's green, black emerald. Um, I, I like amber. So other people's eyes may see uh, black emerald better. I see amber better. So that's where I have my uh, color. Let's see, the next thing that I like, let's back out of here, is my depth. <clears throat> when I'm, it depends on the depth of water that I'm fishing as to where that I'm going to set the depth. And that's because you could be fishing, like you see this right here in 52 feet right here, 52.9, almost 53 feet of water. The trees are only down 28, you know, they're, the tops of them are in 12, 14. So on the depth, I mean, I'd like to keep it to where I can see the fish. I don't want to be much below where the fish are. I don't think it's necessary to go all the way to the bottom. I think if you go to the bottom, it makes your images smaller. I think it makes it harder for you to see your, uh, your jig or your minnow or whatever it is that you're fishing with. So normally, if I would see... If I was in 52 foot and I saw fish up here uh, in 20 or above, I would go to the menu, I'd go to my depth, I'd turn my little knob here, and then that's where I would keep it. I would keep it about, I don't know, you know, just close to where it blows things up and I can see what I'm doing a whole lot better. Um, when you try to go too deep, you go to the bottom, you just don't get as good a picture. So, being that I've been out in this area, and there's some fish you can see between 22, 20, 
foot of water right here standing on this standing timber. Um, I'm actually going to go down just a little more because I actually have caught some a little deeper than that. So 30 is where I have it at right there. Okay. Now then, I'm going to back out of this. And the next thing I mess with is my forward range. I keep my forward range when I'm... Uh, let's see, I'm going to do it a different way though. You see on this particular unit, your forward range comes up in a little circle right here and it's got it on 50 feet. When I'm fishing, I keep it within 30 most of the time. Um, for myself, it just works better. It, you know, I know that if I make a, little, a short pitch, 25 feet, 20, 25 feet, it's about where my pitch is going to go. I don't have to worry about making a long cast way out here somewhere. I can't tell what's going on over here anyway. So I'm going to keep it at about 30 feet. Now, if I get in shallower water, I'm probably still going to keep it about that depth, um, just for or that distance away, just because um, it's easier for me. Now, I will get into if it's like this and I got somebody that doesn't see as well as I do, and we get on top of the top of it which the you know the boat is setting right here at zero or that's where the transducer is so if i if i wanted the folks to fish this right here yeah i might i might go ahead and turn it um to uh you know 15 20 somewhere in there so they can see their bait a little better um, but most times it's going to be on 30 feet if you're fishing with me yeah, that's four i think right i think that's four different settings maybe five i lose track one thing else I'll show you that I do, um, and it's just your preference. I go in the menu here, I go down into this sonar setup, this TVG. I have no idea what TVG stands for. I didn't read the book, but as you see, mine is off. Some people like to have it on low. It'll kind of change the image a little bit. I don't know. seems to me most times when I'm fishing where I'm fishing at off is better and I've had it to where other guys have used it on and they had it on high or something like that let's see what high does uh, it, did, it did something to the screen did you see how the fishing the fish or the stumps aren't showing up as well the trees so let's see we go back and we hit it again we're gonna go ahead and turn it all the way off let's watch that tree when I turn it all the way off okay see how it came in better so I just recommend that you keep it off um, it may be something that you've got to, it may be something that you've got to experiment with for your own preference. Um, but for me, that's how, that's how I do it. So I think that's about covering it as far as the settings are pretty simple. Um, now, you know, during the day, oh, let me give you one more tip. Um, this is making more than five or four or however many I said, but let's see this forward range right here on this particular unit, you push the button and it goes to gain you see i got the gain at 69 percent so that you can you can fluctuate that you know get the more i turn it up you see the brighter it gets it starts bringing a little more i don't know interference type stuff into it and dark, the less you turn it the the less that's in there i'm not sure if you can see that or not with it so cloudy out here but 68 69 67 somewhere in that neighborhood seems like it works best for me so um you know I hope that'll give you a good start if you get one like I said if you just got one you're not really sure how to use it or if you're gonna buy one and you're contemplating you don't know how to use it this will get you in the right direction and um, man I hope you, you you enjoyed this if you did please hit the thumbs up uh, also the subscribe button heck we need the subscribers we sure appreciate you guys support and we'll see you on the next one thanks for joining me